I'm Daryl Monroe and um, from Beyond the Numbers and uh, we're, this is another video from Tabubal in uh, PNG where we're at the Octeti uh, copper and gold mine and we've been working with leaders in a uh, leadership program here and having have an absolute ball. Uh, we're just finding there's so much talent and, and a lot of unrealised talent that we're discovering that hasn't been tapped. And one of the things that uh, we just we cover with with these teams, and, and we think it's worth doing a video on, is that thing that almost all organisations we've ever worked with and we know about have a strategy, and and they have their plan. They know where they're heading and what they're trying to achieve. But what we don't see is having a leadership plan. So think about that: a leadership plan. So, so why, why would we use that, coin that phrase? What, what, if we have a strategy and we have a plan and we know where our KPIs and, and key result areas that we're focusing on, it, it, it's really pie in the sky unless the leaders have a plan to develop their skills and talent to be able to deliver that, that plan and that strategy in a consistent manner throughout the year. And so if you think about it, take a step back for a moment, everybody sort of knows that at the end of the day we get there through effective leadership and teams reaching a level of high performance. That is the differentiator in almost every organisation you can. So we've got to be able to understand our role in that as leaders. We've got to constantly develop ourselves because we're enablers. We're enablers to help the team achieve the work that they need to do. And, and we've got to remind ourselves that leaders uh, achieve the results through others and so we've got to create an environment where we take ordinary people and they achieve extraordinary results. So if we're going to have a plan it needs to be it needs to be intentional. What we mean by that is we, we need to know exactly what we're going to be focusing on and and that's the next one so focus is the next or focused, in fact. We've got to be focused about this. We're going to know what is it we're going to do and we've got to be focused on aiming at that and getting the right results. So uh, Zena Folkman have a concept called the six levers and we've certainly been able to learn and leverage from that. And, and the key thing about their concept of the six levers is you don't try and do all six at once. By looking at the levers, you determine which one will give you, as the leader, the best bang for buck and set your team up for success. So it's like it's a cherry picking the best of that and this is what I'm going to focus on. And then as you develop that, it's got a huge impact on your effectiveness and if it's worth looking into their work, uh, Zena Folkman's work, to see if you want to convince yourself. The, the thing is that you work on one thing, so that, that means it's achievable. And you've got to be able to take bite-sized chunks and then implement those chunks and see the results. And so all the time having that clear destination in mind, where am I heading with this? How is that going to enable my team to be effective and get the results they want? And, and when you've got that level of clarity for yourself, it flows into everything you do. So you seek help when you're not sure. You don't sit on the sideline and watch things that are not working because you're You've got a, a, you're clear about your plan, you've got a clear intention, you're focused. You also know where the destination is. You're not going to wait. When you see you're not getting towards your destination, you're motivated to go and look for more information. And so that's one of the things that a plan comes. The other thing is that research has shown that when we have a clear plan, it's intentional and we're focused and we do it, then, then our performance increases exponentially. And, and that's, that's, that impacts your career, impacts on your effectiveness and organisation. So it's a win-win. So I highly encourage you to do that. So when Scott Richards and I are working together, it's about every three months we actually looking for the next opportunity to develop our learning and understanding. So we have uh, international leadership gurus or, uh, or other gurus coming to Australia or in some cases we go overseas to, to get access to them. You've got to constantly be developing yourself and we're a believer of that is that we can't take people on a journey if we aren't going on the journey ourselves. So think about that. In your organisation, do you have a leadership plan? Every leader has a plan 
a clear focused approach, intentional to get the desired results to get them to the destination. Just a moment of reflection. So we look forward to catching you in the next video.